Nile FM's Play for Ramadan, Episode 3. Uh, what was that? If you remember, when we left our story, Walid and his trusty pooch Zuka were climbing up the fava beanstalk when they heard an almighty roar. roar. There it is again. I don't like the sound of this. Ruff, ruff. Neither do I. We must climb quicker, Zuka. Come on, girl. Walid pulled himself up further and further, Zuka jumping from branch to branch on the ginormous plant. Okay, we're nearly at the top. Walid gave one more heave and pulled himself up on the top of the fava bean stalk. Zuka jumped up behind him. Walid brushed himself down and looked up. There in front of him stood the biggest castle he'd ever seen. Wow, did you look at that, Zuka? Who do you think lives here? Oh, oh. Shh, someone might hear us. Let's go take a look and find out. You can. I'll stay out here and guard the door. Zuka? Okay, okay, you stay here. I'm going inside. Uh, be careful! Walid crawls under the door through the gap and finds himself in an enormous room. The ceiling so high he could barely see it. In the room was an enormous table, too big for him to sit at. And there was a stove with gigantic pots on top. They were bubbling away. Whoa, whoa, this is way bigger than my mom's kitchen. At that moment, Walid heard very loud, very heavy footsteps coming towards the room. Boom, 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 they went. Yes, very much like that. I I don't like the sound of this. Walid hid behind the table leg and had a good view of the bottom half of the closed door by the stove. The footsteps were now right in front of the door. The door flew open. Walid started to shake with fear. All he could see was huge legs and the bottom half of an enormous body. The legs moved into the room. Fee, fi, fo, fum. I smell the blood of an Egyptian. Hereby climb or hereby zephyr. I'll grind his bones to make a kunefa. No, 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 please no, please no, no, please no. Walid cried out and tried to run away, but ran into the middle of the room. He looked directly up at the giant man. Hello, young Egyptian. I am Hawk. I am a giant. And who might you be? I, 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 I'm, 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 Spit it out, boy! Walid, my name's Walid. See? That wasn't hard. Now, what are you doing in my castle? I, um, I, well, I, I climbed a big green plant and I ended up here in your kitchen. Tell the truth now. I know why you're here. You've come to steal from me. Have a joke! No, 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 I haven't. Honest. I, I, I would never. Yes, you would! You would! Little people are all the same. A boy came here before and took my golden goose. A golden goose. An actual goose made out of gold. Yes, it laid golden eggs. A goose made out of gold that laid golden eggs. What use is that to anyone? Do not mock me, boy! I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I loved that goose. His name was Graham, and he was my only friend. I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean to. <laughs> Look what you've done! You've made me sad. I- I'm sorry I mentioned Graham. I- really, I am. Do you know what I do to little people who make me sad? Uh, grind them into Kunefa? Yes! Uh- Things are looking bleak for Walid. Will Hog the Giant grind our young hero into everyone's favorite Ramadan treat? Or is this just a cliffhanger to end the episode? Find out next time when everything will be revealed. Stay tuned for episode four and happy Ramadan from everyone at Nile FM.